in the last part we saw chu xiao and the other party was conflicting where chu xiao stopped ping an to rush that time as the wind passed by the man's shirt was slightly blown up he did not carry the usual perfume of a normal young noble and instead had a unique waft of a refreshing smell along with this aura he seemed like a pure scoop of snow Jing Jing suddenly stretched out her hand pointing at the man's waist and shouted His jade accessory is the same as sister's crystal clear round and smooth the jade accessory of that man gleamed with a soft glow reflecting light Chu Xiao's expression come down as everyone looked on quietly without making a single noise chu xiao stretched out her hand and placed it on the man's shoulder with one quick flip she jumped up from the carriage and gently informed pingan and others do not be so stunned quickly clear the path in front Pingan's eyes widened as he looked at Chu Xiao before looking at the man and turning back to ask, "Sister, you know him?" Chu Xiao carefully nodded, "Yes." She seemed to even seem rather happy. Pingan was rather curious about the identity of the man. Yet, before he could even open his mouth, the man's gaze had floated to him. He did not seem very stern and merely looked exceedingly cold, as though he was really reluctant to hear this clumsy teenager continue to talk. Seeing as such, Brother Chao immediately lowered his head and backed off. Picking up their tools, they started to clear the path. Chu Xiao turned around to the man and told him, "Follow me." With that, she turned around and walked off. That day, the weather was particularly good, with the sky as clear as the lake of crystal clear water. The two of them walked on one after another, and before long, they had walked to a hill. In there, one could see a waterfall. sweeping down falling into a deep pool below splashing up huge amount of water the water droplets reflecting the sunlight gleamed with a extraordinary brilliance Xiao turned around looking at the man before her She realized that even though they had not met for an entire year he had not really changed and was still the same as usual She opened her mouth wanting to say something yet she knew not where to begin 
and she was mocking herself or merely expressing a heartfelt emotion You or you seems to be as usual. He asked, What are you smiling about? His brows are slightly frown together and seemed to be rather impatient as he stood there with her. Nothing. Chu Xiao shook her head. Yet she continued smiling. It occurred to me that each time we meet, we would always be in a rather special circumstance. You, you turned his head around to look at elsewhere, still so socially awkward as usual. She asked, What did you come here to do? You and you gave her an ever so vague answer. Settle some business. Chu Xiao nodded and replied, You are heading back now. Yep. And with that, the duo sank into the silence as they stood rooted to their spots. In the blink of an eye, two years had passed. In the past two years, he had been in control of vast power and authority in the course and became one of the most powerful people in the world. Even as Chu Xiao stayed far away and occasionally heard some rumors. She would suspect if the man that she knew was really the same ruthless and decisive man in those rumors. Thank you so much for staying with me subscribe my channel and like the video please and of course click the bell icon to notify the next is part of the story thank you